Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with our um, harvesting trays from the 103 Days of Neglect. So we have our European Nightcrawlers here on the left and our um, Blue Worms on the right. And I wanted to see how they gotten along with last week's feeding. It's been a little bit more than a week since I updated, but I wanted to see if they were still down in here. And... Right away, I see worms. Not seeing immediate signs of food, but doesn't mean it's not here. The moisture, it's a little dry, which is not good. I need these worms to stay, stay up front here. So I have to give something wet today. But there are quite a lot of worms in here. And yeah, it's really dry over here on this side. But there's still worms. And some of these euros are getting their size back for sure. Some of them still look like reds. But they're they're getting there. So uh I'm I'm impressed that it's going so well. I mean, look at that euro back to normal size. And some of these other worms almost look like red wigglers, but um, they're definitely, definitely coming back. So I'm, I'm impressed with that. I think I'm going to move uh, some of the contents out of the back portion of this tray into my um, collected harvest big bin. So I think because this has dried some, there's really like no worms left in it. And even though there's some little particles of this and that, it can go right in. It'll kind of re-moisten itself. Um, it's still moist, but just not wet by any means. It'll re-moisten itself in that tote. Um, and it will also um, be a food source for any worms that I have in that tote, as well as any worms that were left behind. Although I'm seeing very few, if any, worms left in here so that's really encouraging as well so i'm going to move some of these out into my um rubbermaid tote and we will get this fed up and then we'll also take a look at the blue worms okay guys so i'm telling tales i took out the entire back portion and i put it into this bin over here i'm just going to moisten it down let it sit because i am going to sift it i'm just too much of a I don't know, not perfectionist or control freak, but I just, I like the look of sifted castings and the fact that it has some of this shredded paper left in it is bothering me. So um, this is the remaining contents of this bin. There's worms spread all throughout here. Like I said, some of them are getting some good size back to them for sure. Some of them are still pretty small, need some some additional time and space to to grow um I'm, that's why i'm gonna leave them actually in this mortar tray even though it's hard to maintain the moisture in here um i'll stay on top of it because um uh, this is definitely going to be come on focus this is definitely going to be our best um bet because it's a large surface area for these worms to spread out and grow grow large again so i put the, the larger pieces of bedding down in the middle and I have a like almost liquid feeding for them. And I'm doing this intentionally because the liquid is gonna be really good to kind of permeate throughout the bedding. It will entice the worms to eat it, but it will also keep everything moist as it breaks down. This is healthy sprinkling of some crushed oyster shell. And I'm gonna cover it back up with the castings here and I'm going to kind of try to mound the castings towards the middle so I can kind of keep a cover and prevent it from drying out too too much but um I'll moisten it down as well and keep an eye on it but that's going to be it for this one and let's go take a peek at the blue worms Okay guys, so I took the liberty to already empty the back of this tray out. There were a few more worms, but honestly, maybe 15 or 20 total. So I thought that was pretty, 
pretty good. And I'm just going to do the same thing in this tray, kind of spread everything out. Put these large pieces of bedding kind of down in the middle. See what type of worm action we got going on. And there's a good good number of them, but they're not in mass the way we usually have them. Probably because it dried out some. They're probably just more spread out, finding little pockets of moisture, but there we go. There's a nice blue worm ball. Oh yeah, there's much, much more now that I... That's how you know they're blue worms. You see how fast those worms are moving? That is a telltale sign of blue worms for sure. They move at lightning speed compared to other worms. And they're thinner than um, like the red wigglers are. And um, they're, they're more flighty for sure as well. They'll definitely climb on you if it's going to um, rain, things like that. They're just a little bit more temperamental that way. But they're some of the fastest breeders and honestly, probably some of the best composters out of any of the worms that I have. They get a bad reputation, but um, they really are excellent composters for sure. So they are still in here in, in good numbers. Oh, well, there we go. Didn't get any of that action over in the European night crawlers. Wonder what in particular got them so excited over here. So they look absolutely excellent. I mean, they're they're everywhere. So I will flatten all of this stuff out here, kind of mix it up. And we will do this, the same thing over here. We're going to kind of hollow out a little bowl area in the center with our larger bedding scraps down the bottom so that they stay nice and moist with the feeding. I still got a worm. There we go. And I'm going to feed the rest of this blended food. These guys can handle even more than the Europeans uh, for sure. They eat a lot and you can see there's like standing standing liquid in there and that's fine these worms really will do okay because it's going to absorb by the mo the um bedding and it'll keep it moist um it's not going to drown the worms not going to become anaerobic this is a very shallow tray and it's very breathable and since it's a lot of aeration you really don't have to be too concerned about anaerobic problems or anything like that. It's more if you have an enclosed system that you'd have to worry. So I'm just going to do the same thing, mound everything up, cover it with our um, newspaper, things like that, and we'll come back next week, see if we get these guys back up to size. These guys probably are pretty much back up to size. Um, so then I'll have to think about where these guys are going to be moved when we're completely finished. But I couldn't be more pleased, so let me know what you guys think. Drop those comments below. Like this video. Subscribe if you'd like some more content from me. And I'll be back with you guys real soon for another update.